In the Spotlight visited Yale University's Hellenic Studies program to learn more about the program's goal and to hear about their support of a bike ride that is organized in collaboration with the Olympism for Humanity Alliance that's launching this summer. Yale is, uh, as we know, one of the most uh, prominent universities in uh, the country or in the world. We believe that as a, as a country uh, that is central to the imagination and construction of the West, uh, as an idea, but also as a lived reality in politics and geography and, uh, and culture particularly. We believe it should have a presence in a university like this. Uh, the program was established in 2001 as a pilot program. It was the initiative of Maria Georgopoulou, who uh, is an art, hist art historian of Byzantine art, and John Janakopoulos, who is uh, an economist here at Yale. Um, the program was then endowed in 2007 by the same foundation that funded our initial uh, pilot program, the Niarchos Foundation. It still funds uh, the majority of the activities of the program as well as a number of other initiatives here at Yale. Um, our purpose here, we offer courses, we organize events, uh, public events, most of them academic, a number of them cultural. We've had a great series of concerts uh, with prominent uh, Greek uh, singers like uh, Faraduri, Protopsalti, Venetsanu. Uh, and we now have been very active in the last four or five years uh, talking about the Greek crisis, giving different uh, sides of the story, uh, and essentially keeping the topic of Greece at the fo forefront of Yale debates. The program itself, as a program, does not offer any degrees. The courses we offer are part of their electives in the social sciences or humanities. A number of our courses are exclusively about Greece, whether it's culture or um, or politics and history, uh, the great majority of them are uh, comparative in the sense that we um, investigate a particular uh, topic that is pressing or uh, important and we locate Greece's involvement and participation in that debate. Uh, sometimes the debate may be uh, um, uh, separate from uh, Greece, but it may be the same debate. So I'll give you an example. Uh, one of our faculty teaches a course on fairy tales so she locates the Greek tradition in the European and German. Um, I offer a course on the Cold War in Europe that includes a large component of Greece. Or more currently and more uh, pertinent to our topic today, a course on the Olympics. The language courses are the foundation of the program. They are the core uh, courses that we believe uh, a student should start with. We offer five semesters. And um, we offer also other opportunities to go to Greece and uh, expand their knowledge. We collaborate with uh, Cornell whereby we provide uh, live streaming of our courses. Uh, our um, language lecturer Maria Kalyabu is also uh, a folklorist, so she teaches a number of courses uh, when we don't offer the fifth semester. We are actually trying to raise money to bring uh, graduate students from Greece to the program for one year. Uh, the project is still in, um, in the fundraising and uh, planning uh, session, but it is one of our main objectives to uh, expand the activities of the program. We want to bring um, graduate students that are nearing the end of their dissertation and are preparing for the job market. And we want them to spend a year here getting to know the academic culture, and getting trained in how to give a job talk, an interview, um, what kind of questions they should expect, and so on and so forth. So we believe it's an important place for a graduating PhD to be. I think we would like them to live with a, a more comprehensive understanding of what the modern Greek situation or reality is. A lot of the students uh, come to the program with um, the myths that they learn in high school the myths they learn from the little book they read as children and they get enamored with the Greece of the past. We, and in our courses, uh, examine this relationship with antiquity, but we would like to bring modern Greece and its Byzantine legacy as well into the forefront. Um, we would like to inhabit this land, not only as a space, but also as a conceptual, intellectual, and cultural category 
for which I think modern Greece has a lot to offer. My main objective is um, generate research, train future scholars, train uh, or teach future diplomats, of which Yale produces a lot, uh, inform historians. These are the two big uh, departments in the social sciences and humanities, history and political science. If we can influence the minds of people that will in the future be the leaders of the US or the world, wherever they come from, um, and give them a base for understanding what Greece is, how it functions in the area and in the world, um, as well as keep a conversation going on campus. So our immediate uh, present is to engage with the campus, uh, have a network whereby we are involved in uh, the discussions that are happening, but future, the future goal is essentially leave students with a better knowledge of what this country is about. And it's diasporas. We would like to think of Hellenism as bigger than the state of Greece, and uh, our approach to this is that um, Hellenism is global, right? So we need to keep that in mind. This is what I will say about the way I understand the difference between my generation, uh, the pre-digital and pre-internet generation, and this generation. I think their exposure to the world is much richer, much more complex, and in many ways uh, less uh, controllable than ours. So I am glad to see, for instance, that uh, uh, younger generations in Cyprus are much more interested in what's going on in the world. I am also glad to see that they're less invested, and this may sound bad, in the local politics, in the sense that they don't carry the same prejudices or fanaticism that my generation and the past generations uh, carried. Uh, they also are in contact with um, communities that we used to be uh, in communicado in the past. I, I reached the tender age of 36 before I met other Turkish Cypriots in Cyprus. That's not a good sign. I think this generation is much more uh, in contact with whoever they choose, and I think that's a positive sign. Uh, I think the new generation can also propel us into a more progressive, egalitarian and just society, look at it from all sorts of angles, whether it's uh, women's rights, um, whether it's gay and lesbian issues in Cyprus, I think that generation is way ahead of us. Uh, and I'm glad to see that. On the other hand, I have like a middle-aged person, my reservations as to how much culture they are absorbing, what kind of culture they're absorbing. Um, and as an instructor of this culture, I would like to, um, uh, to keep a sense of the tradition, but also a tradition that we keep questioning. I'm not suggesting an, an unquestioned or total transference of prior knowledge. I think knowledge should be, uh, should be um, constantly questioned, and uh, including the tradition, but I would like us to know the tradition before we can question it. I am a researcher here at the School of Public Health in the Yale Center for Analytical Sciences. I do medical research, uh, working on uh, mainly infectious disease, epidemiology, and clinical trials. My involvement with the Hellenic Studies program started uh, soon after I graduated from the School of Public Health here. And the first major project we did with the Hellenic Studies program was uh, a series of events on the Mediterranean Greek nutrition uh, and the benefits from a health perspective as a side interest of mine. And it was a very successful uh, series of events in 2006, and ever since I've been affiliated with the uh, Hellenic Studies program. The latest initiative that we're launching is uh, something I've been involved since 2013, the Olympism for, uh, for Humanity Alliance. Um, and in 2013 and 2014, I went to Olympia and taught for two years, uh, for two weeks as a mentor on, uh, on projects related to how to utilize the ideals of Olympism in uh, educational exchange, in uh, projects that have to do with development and engaging youth um, in projects that encompass the Olympism uh, and its ideals and respect for human rights and, and, and um, the, not just the sports but also how to use sports to engage people in different cultural settings uh, in different parts of the world. Uh, so at the last uh, uh, week, I was the last day I was there, the second time I was as a mentor, 
uh, one of the inspirations I had was to do a project that involved uh, my newfound interest in biking and how to engage people from different parts of the region, Greece and Turkey and, and Cyprus, in coming together to do a bike ride. The idea is to cover the bicycle, the bicycle ride from Istanbul all the way down to ancient Olympia. What we're going to do, we're going to document the ride. We'll create a documentary based on their profiles, their lives, what made them make this decision to participate in the, show, on the uh, event. And also, during the ride, we'll cover the stories of their experiences uh, on each local uh, cities that we're going to visit. The inspiration came from uh, that uh, one week, two weeks I was there, the last in 2014. And I, I came back to the States and I called a friend of mine who was also into biking and lives in DC. And I said, we have to do this. And he initially thought, you must be joking. We're not going to do this ride from Istanbul to ancient Olympia, the two of us. I said, no, we're going to get other crazy people to come with us. So um, this has been brewing over two years and finally uh, last year I was in Cyprus and met up with some old friends who are into biking and sports and have been involved in projects related to using sports for development and, and for uh, health and, and social and cultural uh, projects. And I said, what do you think about this idea? And they said, we're coming. I'm like, okay. So um, one thing led to another. Now we have a core team of eight people, uh, two based out of here, myself and uh, my friend in DC. Uh, and six people, uh, four in Cyprus and uh, five in Cyprus and one uh, from Turkey. Uh, in, from Cyprus we have uh, four Greek Cypriots and one Turkish Cypriot and then one guy from, from Turkey. The, the idea behind this is to, in this world where we're trying to you know, compartmentalize people in countries and geography and culture, the thing that unites us at least is the ride. You know, getting on a bike and, and going across places, across towns, across boundaries that are, exist on a map, and for us it doesn't make a difference. So uh, the idea is to engage people along the way and with this message of it doesn't matter who, who you are, where you live, you have this love of biking or whatever sports you're doing, it brings you together. Um, so the even though we have a core team of eight uh, cyclists, we're going to do the thousand mile whole thing in hopefully 10 days. The, the idea is to engage other people along the way. So we're, we're um, organizing with local either bike teams or, or clubs and organizations to have events where we stop the main stops and have sort of a, a get together and people can follow us. They can join along anywhere they want um, and they can drop out anytime they want. We'll continue from Istanbul all the way to ancient Olympia. And, and with that, and why the question, why those two po starting points, I think those are symbolic uh, places in the, in the cultures of both peoples, uh, but the world as well. I mean, you have uh, Istanbul, the, the sort of the bridge from Asia to Europe, and then we have ancient Olympia where this Olympism and Olympic movement started that goes beyond what the Olympics have become today. So we wanted to symbolize that by doing this tour, sort of connecting the dot along the way over a 10 day period. So the team is good besides the, 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 the bike, the cyclists is gonna have um, a team behind us because we can do the, what now I think is not the hard part. The writing to me is not the hard part, it's the logistics behind this public team. It's gonna take care of the logistics, where we're stopping, uh, when and where we're biking to. Uh, we had multiple iterations of the itinerary, where the events are gonna be uh, happening, uh, who's organizing that. We have a nutritionist on board because obviously we need somebody to guide us because we can consume a lot of calories, but we wanna make sure we consume the right kind of calories. We have a physical therapist in case we have any, any issues with, um, with our bodies. Um, and the whole logistics behind that, the, the team that supports that is gonna be an, an impressive uh, effort on their behalf. And the idea is to get this message out that you know, anybody can do this. It's not, we're not doing this to say, here, we've done this uh, and we're challenging you. Uh, we, uh, when I set this up and talked to the people who are involved, I said, think of this as something we're doing not for others to see that we're doing it but for us to see people along the way and meet with them and, and sort of engage and we're going to learn because that and that goes back to when i started getting involved with this olympism for humanity alliance i went there with a mentor tag and by the third day i took it off i said i'm not mentoring here i'm learning from all you guys 
and by the end of the two weeks every year it's like you're amazed by what you see and this is the kind of thing I want to experience along this bike ride. So that's that's in a nutshell what we're doing. We've been trying to set this up, like I said, for two years, but the last three months have been really intensive in trying to um, thank God for communications, back and forth emails, Skype calls, get the itinerary set. It's going to be kind of a reality, but the main idea is to get people together. Because as you know, we have people from Turkey, from Cyprus, from Athens, uh, from Greece, I mean, or from uh, the States. And we need to uh, get the name out, the message out, that there's no borders. We can live together, we can do things together, we can share history and culture together. That's the idea behind it. Right now we see people, they're getting divided because they don't know if it's okay to live with other people around them. Uh, you have immigrants or refugees from other countries getting into Europe and people are getting upset. But at the same time, we have to realize that if that's a new situation that we have to deal with, we need to understand that there's a, the, the human sector, the human part, part of it. We're, we're people, we, we need to live together and we need to learn to communicate. And this is part of what we're doing right now. And um, like I said before, if we can exchange culture and history, that's the first major step. We're starting July 5th uh, from Istanbul. Uh, we're going to get there a couple of days before, hopefully have an event there and then kick off. Um, and the first two, three days are going to be in Turkey and then we're crossing into Greece and hopefully ending uh, around the, between the 15th or the 17th of July in Ancient Olympia. My, my sort of, as we put the itinerary together, at least myself, I'm, I'm dreaming of sort of riding this and then entering the, the arch in the Olympic Stadium, the old Olympic. Just a fascinating, I, I live the moments, you know, along the ride. So uh, we're looking forward to it. We have a crazy idea that if we can manage to make it happen, it's going to be unique. First of all, we'll cover the ride in a way that it can be very attractive to the audience. We'll have um, uh, a lot of shots from drones, from uh, cameras on the bikes. We'll cover the every minute of their, uh, of, of their life, let's say, uh, while they're biking. Our long-term uh, goal is to create a Greece cycle tour. And if that goes well, then we'll have France, Spain, Italy and Greece doing the same thing. It's, it's, a, it's great. It's, it's, it's a unique idea. It needs a lot of people to work together so we can make it happen. Right now we're planning to have different events on each city that we're going to visit and there's a group of people in Greece that they will organize uh, the local events. They will have local athletes or the local authorities to help us out to get the name out to get the idea of this uh, project out and also throw local events on each city and talk about their history and culture as well. That's why I said we're going to exchange history and culture in Turkey, in Greece at the same time. Um, we're going to have a, a group of people helping behind the scene. Besides the camera crew, we'll have a, a huge RV following this group of people to help them out if they need to get some rest, if they need to fix their bikes and all that. We'll have a nutritionist uh, on board to help them eat right um, and learn about local food as well, which is also a good part of it. And at the end, uh, in ancient Olympia, we'll have a big event in the uh, ancient stadium. And this is going to be the finish line over there. It's open to anybody who wants to join for any part or, or the whole thing if they want. The, of course, we have a limitation in terms of managing other people's logistics because already we have a team of eight bikers plus you know, another 10 people behind the scenes. So we have enough to, to manage, but anybody's welcome to. The itinerary is going to be made public. Everybody will know where we're going. We're going to update every day where we are, where we're heading to, so people can join at any given time they want. Um, but um, you know, it's an open, I view this as a sort of a convoy of, of bikers along the way. So hopefully we'll have a successful ride. You can follow us online on Facebook and you can watch small, short clips of our uh, event as we go down from uh, Istanbul all the way down to Ancient Olivia and also learn about the uh, cycles, the, the riders.